All right, Gary, what are we talking about this week? You'll you'll wake the babies. Oh, I'm so sorry. It's it's okay. Gary. I've I've, I've brought you to this maternity ward. Oh, okay. I was wondering uh, where you got all those babies, but I forgot the car drive over here. So. Babies. Babies. They, um, so I have, uh, using a, a complex system of wires and mirrors, I have tricked Sir Elton John into having a baby with David Bowie. I love both their, both their mo- movies. Yeah. yeah, yeah lab, I, lab, Labyrinth King, I believe. Yeah. L- Labyrinth and Live in London. Yes. I'm guessing. Yeah. Um, yeah, the uh, so the uh, uh, and the, the 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 baby the 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 mother is going to they're going to bring the baby out pretty soon, and it, it's going to be all of the properties of David Bowie, and all of the properties of Elton John. Wow, combined he, into one, he will rule us all. He will. Oh, the, this is bringing out a bundle. Oh, oh okay. Gary, I'm so excited. It's weird that they chose me to to see the baby first, but it's okay. I think that they had to push a watermelon out of their urethras. Yeah. So yeah. they're yeah. they're recovering over in the ICU. Yeah, yeah. with their front shredded <laughs> you know, like urethra. I don't strips. know why I'm so happy about their penises being destroyed. It, I mean, they're both pretty old. Yeah. Um. All right. Let me pull back the the blanket oh. and it's the solar jet man, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Hooray! The solar jet man <laughs> blasted off <laughs> in the funky, funky cosmos. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's here to save us all. <laughs> he is. He is. <laughs> so. <laughs> So, uh, <laughs> Gary, I was um, I was playing um, uh, just when I was when I was getting ready to play these games for the show. Um, I was going through my ROM library uh, that I mm-hmm. have, uh, totally totally legally, and I came across a ROM for a game based on the Labyrinth on the yeah. NES. Yeah, I played such game. Yes, and uh, it might just be the translation that I'm playing, but it opens up with "Hi, I'm David Bowie." <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Um, <laughs> Yeah, that game's real weird. You spend a lot of time in the beginning just killing fairies. You know that that long fairy killing section? Like it's like two seconds in the movie, but yeah, you had to kill yeah. a certain number of fairies to get into the maze or whatever. Yeah. Yeah, but like his little his little sprite is doing uh Fushigi uh, in yeah. front of you. It says, I'm David Bowie. Sometimes in movies, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> like, it's really weird. <laughs> it yeah. is super, super weird. It's a Japanese yeah. only game. Oh, uh, so yeah, that, 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 that's probably some kind of really cheeky fan translation then. Yeah. Yeah. That's my guess. The Japanese mm. are cheeky. Yeah. Um, like the Japanese people who undoubtedly, well, actually, no, Japanese <laughs> people did not make a no, this is... solar jet man. Yeah. What's your name, Gary? Uh, Gary Butterfield. My name's Cole Ross. And this is Abject Suffering, the show where we play games. Yes. Why are you, why are you doing this to us? Why are you blessing us with this, uh, with this joy? Yeah, this this one's okay. I yeah. feel like out of I feel like the, uh, we we record these in threes, and this is one of our best batches. Yeah, like I was pretty into all all three of these games. Oh yeah, um, yeah, I was I was all right with with all of them. Like, yeah, yeah, it's all right. It's pretty yeah, it's 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 pretty good. I'd like to thank Brad Carey uh, for for showing us this. Like it's so legit, man, baby. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, yeah, it's the glamest. Clam jam game of them all. Yeah, I suppose it has space, has capsules and lasers, uh, yeah. mysterious worlds, and warp ships. Yeah, but on the cover it says warship. Hmm. But in the game it says warp ship. Yeah, that's right. So you are you are hunting down. Uh, it's like Toe Jam and Earl. Instead of uh, except instead of trying to revive the Funkopotamus, you are uh, trying to reassemble the golden war- warp ship or warship. C- Cole, try um, holding your tongue between your fingers and saying, I was born on a golden warp ship. I was born on a golden warp ship. Yeah, see, you, you were born 
for God and worship. This <laughs> 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 tricks you into converting to Christianity. God damn it. Do you know how hard it is <laughs> to get uh, out? Uh, it's yeah, don't, don't, it's don't like say that. It's like try. <laughs> Oh, concern it, Gary. Yeah. <laughs> Do you know how hard it is? Like, it's easier to get out of like being like a Cosa Nostra wise guy, or a, or a, it's it's easier to get out of LinkedIn than to get out of Christianity. You it's easier to get out of my ex wife's bed. Am I right? <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah. I I don't know what that is. Huh? Yeah, I, I don't know what that is either. <laughs> yeah, but doesn't like Golden Warp Ship sounds like something that is like a tongue twister yeah it does golden warp ship golden warp ship yeah, yeah. warp ship yeah but I, I love the i love the conceit behind this because like this is a uh it's like a colony ship right that's like going oh. around and setting up on different planets i thought you were trying to like get pieces to just try to get to the end like it is a colony <laughs> ship but you want to get out of there like yeah, you, you yeah. are a colony ship but the idea is get out yeah, but it's like super cool because you're playing as this little probe that uh, kind of plays by uh, lunar lander physics, right? Yeah. 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 A member of the uh, Federation of Space Loonies. <laughs> yep. Um, and, the, and one of my favorite, like, you know, wikipedia.txt, like, the main character belongs to the Federation of Space Loonies. Solar Jetman has no space for more humor than the occasional irreverent touches. <laughs> <laughs> it's just so packed with other stuff of substance. Yeah. It yeah, really can't... For that sentence. Yeah. yeah, it's like you know, it's like your better James Bond movies. Like you know, they do have a little bit of a, a couple of winks to the camera, but it's mostly intrigue and action and espionage. Yeah, 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 yeah. The, uh, yeah. So you're a lunar lander, and uh, you have to go on this planet and gather up stuff to get to the next planet. Mm -hmm. um, it's like fuel and a piece of the ship. Yeah, correct. Mm -hmm. I did not get off the first planet. Um, I died, kept dying in the, uh, cause the, the, like the thing that stopped this game for me from thinking this was a good game, like a real good game. I think it's all right. Yeah. Um, was the fact that like your ship dies in one hit and then you have to make your all way all the way back to the mothership to get a new ship, yeah. to get a new pro. That just drove me crazy. Like I was in the warp zone and got hit by a bullet and then I was like, well, got to go back. Yep. And then got, you know, got to the warp zone, zone again and got hit, got to go back. And then what you ultimately have to end up doing is like when you get hit and you're the little guy clear out all the areas mm -hmm. which is just like real tedious and then you can just kind of explore it at your leisure yeah 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 but it's so, a real interesting loop for this era though oh, like yeah. the way it treats death is pretty is pretty interesting yeah i, I agree with that like it is it is a super neat concept mm -hmm. for a game like it like and this was the kind of game like if i did get stuck with it like i would play the shit out of it as a kid yeah I never even knew what this game was. Like, I just always saw the cover mm -hmm. and saw the name, but never actually tried it. This is like one of the very few NES games I knew literally nothing about. Yeah. As aside, from, aside from the glamness, this like the, the title is a little bit like one of those te Teflon titles. Like, it just kind of bounces off of you. Like, yeah. spa Space Explorer. Source code. Yeah. <laughs> I like that movie. Yeah. That's supposed to be good. I haven't seen it, but because the title made it look really boring. Yeah. Um, I do want to see it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But yeah. But, this, is a, this is a Trade West game, so it's super hard. Mm hmm. Yep. And that's probably how far did you get? Did you get? Uh, I got to the second planet where the difficulty kind of hockey sticks a little bit. Like okay. it's a real, it's 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 real tough. Like there's more stuff that will insta kill you. So mm. and and you know every every planet that you go to, I got the sense has like a different uh, gravity value to it. And so yeah. the you know the 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 number of taps to get a certain distance kind of changed just enough to make me feel like I was relearning the game over again. You know? it, it's weirdly tense because you can never like there's no rest there's no platforming ever no, no so like you're just constantly having to be aware of staying out away from the walls mm -hmm. like all the time it's weirdly like <laughs> you know there's never a point to relax in this game okay it, let's cross this with microsurgeon and make operation the game where you can't touch the sides oh man where you play this little like like inner space <laughs> yeah the game and you play this little probe like going around doing operations uh-huh yeah you so. can't touch uh the veins uh-huh yeah. Yeah. Go go down, cut off a little piece of the liver, take it back out the mouth. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, I had a, a dream once. I, I almost made one of my coworkers puke. I was telling her about this. And it's not that it's not that scary, but it's just where I and it was years ago, but super, super vivid. Um, is that I cough like I had a coughing fit in the dream. And I coughed up what looked like a large uh, piece of seashell pasta, but it was made of flesh and it was part of my like throat apparatus oh no so i need i needed it but not to like live or anything it's just i knew that it should be inside me instead of outside of me and i kept like the the dream was about me like oh that's that shouldn't have happened 
how do I swallow just this just a little bit so it gets lodged into my throat where it needs to be without yeah. going into my stomach? Well, first you lay off your, you, you lay on your back so that you don't uh, have gravity aiding you. Okay. Yeah. And then, yeah. or or even like put on some moon boots, some fucking moon boots, baby. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yep. Uh, or, or you go on one of those parabolic uh, suborbital jets. That's meant oh, to, sure. That's meant to uh, uh, simulate low gravity uh, or free fall. Yeah. Yeah, do that, or uh, tie this little piece. You know, if you're willing to pierce this piece of throat meat um, to a to a small length of string or twine, that is exactly yeah. the depth that you want to go. So that way, it's kind of anchored, so that it, you can yeah. heal and then you know hopefully excise it later. Yeah, I don't know what the end game was. Like it, whether it was just like once this was in my throat, it would just like lodge back in. Uh huh. Just back in, but it looked like like a fist sized piece of seashell pasta. Fist size, Jesus Christ! Yeah, like it was huge. It was yeah. huge and soft and made of, <laughs> of like pink skin. <laughs> it was really gross and yeah, it was just, just like and it was really scary too because it was like the kind of thing where like i wasn't dying i just knew something was deeply wrong yeah. and i you know like that that shouldn't be yeah it's one of those things like this can't happen 11 more times right yeah yeah, yeah. huh you said you said seashell pasta i was imagining something like like real small about the size of a cochlea but yeah no, no no yeah it was, it was big yeah like a substantial hunk of mucosa Ugh. yeah yeah just yeah. various flaps and stuff yeah, it was yeah, it was very valvy. Yeah. Did flappy. you did, did you try talking in the dream or was it a No, I, I don't I don't remember. Yeah. I think that like in the dream I had like a sore throat okay. after that happened. Uh-huh. Um which I guess would would happen if you lost your seashell. <laughs> Yeah. Um, but the, uh, <laughs> I guess, uh-huh. Have you lost? Uh, <laughs> oh, have you, oh, like, what if you had to replace it with an actual seashell and every time you open your mouth Ooh. it made ocean noises? Yeah, you could hear the ocean. <laughs> be great. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Whispering, yeah, we, you become the vessel for Poseidon's secrets, <laughs> and you just go around consulting about where like tidal waves are going to hit next. <laughs> that would be amazing. Yeah, I'd be way into that. Um, unfortunately, that that didn't happen. Oh. Sorry to tell you about Dream. It no, was just that's... like this. I can't even remember what it reminded me of it. No, it was, uh, so like we were talking about the inner space thing, like the uh, yeah. Oh, sure. You, you, yeah, because in the Dream, this. you could you could send in a crew to like stick my seashell back. Yeah, yeah. Just you, you just get in there and uh, use their fusing lasers to you know to reconnect all the bits and bops. Yeah. Has there ever been a video game where that's the concept? Like you go into a person. <clears throat> I know, like Microsurgeon, kind of, but um, mm-hmm. other than that, like Plaque Attack. Oh, sure. Like, yeah. it's just a part of a human. Like, I'm yeah. thinking, like, a whole game where, like, you start so, off in one part of the human. Oh, just, like, an extended... The bl- is the brain or something. <laughs> Trying to kill like, this man. For- oh, it's the inside of Hitler? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> inside Hitler's brain. Yeah. Like, it's the New York Yankees, and yeah. they've been shrunk down to fight Hitler. <laughs> What you're, um, <laughs> what you're describing was like written on a whiteboard um, in a, uh, like, a pitch meeting for a game based off of uh, Osmosis Jones. Oh yeah, who was surprised? <laughs> there had to have been an Osmosis Jones game, right? We have to we have to kill Bill Murray from the inside out. <laughs> that way he won't make uh, he won't make Garfield a tale of two kitties. There's, there's no uh, Osmosis Jones like release game, but um, there is the Osmosis Jones microorganism maker from Doll Divine, which looks like a flash game where you create a little Osmosis Do- Jones doll. Okay. I'm doing it right now. <laughs> <Cool. This> is, <laughs> Can you screenshot that for me? I want to see what you come up with. It's, it's pretty cool. Um, yeah, let's see. Like, I'm. It's pretty confusing. Oh, well. Um, I mean, you have to pick all of his organelle and such. It's a it's a lady. I think you can't make a guy. Oh, it's all Osmosis Jane. <laughs> um, yeah. yeah. Oh, the misandry is real. <laughs> um, like, oh, I forgot that David Hyde Pierce was in that. Membrane on, membrane off, <laughs> membrane on, membrane off. <laughs> oh man, oh man, so weird. Yeah, so I, I don't know. I think that. Uh, oh my gosh, what's that? Uh, what's that game? Um, that uh, it's you're you're playing this the deep sea diver, like exploring and going oh, down and um, finding shit. Yeah, we uh, we talked about that. I can't yeah, remember. We have. It just it has another one of those Teflon titles. Yeah. Um, yeah. I'm looking that up right now. It's like endless. No, and it's not endless ocean, but uh, um, uh, treasures of the deep. There we go. You know, like do that or um, endless ocean for the Wii, except it's uh, like uh, inside the body kind of thing. Oh, sure. Yeah, like it, like an yeah. ed- like faux faux educational game. Yeah, that'd be great. Yeah, I like that. I think uh, I think we're due for a return on edutainment, Gary. Yeah. No, yeah, there's. I mean, you know, good edutainment games. That would, that could be like a thing that you know, because we've got good children's television now. Uh huh. You know, like good good edutainment games would be like a the next step. Mm-hmm. Like I, I could really see that being that like going well. 
Yeah. Well, I mean, Solar Jetman teaches us valuable things about one uh, pre- Prelvdon. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it teaches us about passwords that only have two letters in them. Yeah. K-B-B-K-K-K-P-B-B. Yeah. <laughs> P-B-B-B-B-B. Um, it also <laughs> teaches uh, us about a real nice, like, pompous uh, uh, game facts. Ooh. Guy. Have you looked at any of the game facts for this guy? Uh, no, I haven't. Check this guy out. So, uh, Which e, one is E po- uh, po- Poetker? Yeah, Poetker. It actually takes the form of like a fact, not like a guide. Mm-hmm. Um, but there's just so much preamble and postamble <laughs> to all of these questions. Ah, uh, like, another day is spent <laughs> writing a fact. So the like, Jetman has you playing the role of, among other things, a tugboat. <laughs> what? No way. No, really. <laughs> much of this game is spent towing items back to your ship. The other part is spent fighting space, pi- space pirates to guard those items. <laughs> but yeah, and then all of the the things have these little like, you know, pre like gravity. Isaac Newton is not your friend. His blasted law is still in effect two thousand years after he's expired. <laughs> like, like, what that blasted law? I love, I love the idea. I love the idea of like somebody like everything somebody discovers uh, disappearing when they die. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> as like this weird sort of like fragmented solipsism so oh, like yeah. alan turing dies and all of a sudden no, no computer can be self-aware yeah <laughs> until somebody else discovers it yeah. like the knowledge actually disappears yeah mm. yeah <laughs> and it has to be discovered really quick because all of his writings start fading in a back to the future Ooh. like what yeah Get yeah that's your... a good like some teen detectives that's a good that's a good pitch <laughs> Like, why uh, a few thanks rare for making a cool and crazy game like this one way before donkey kong country came out <laughs> cjc for making gamefacts.com and the, the okay. god damn it cjc why are you uh, yeah all the thanks to cjc and game facts are very funny to me yes <laughs> well, it just seemed like the honorable thing to do when i <laughs> received this prestigious publication yes yeah um, man so you can't you can't fault somebody for trying to put oh, a little hey. bit of whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Did, you, did you see the thank you after that? No. God <laughs> for giving me the talent of writing, for saving my soul through his son, and for steering me toward the somewhat benign hobby of playing video games rather than taking drugs like some of my other friends were doing. Dot oh, dot dot yeah. end of fact. Have fun on your fucking high horse, you stupid piece <laughs> of shit. <laughs> Well, when I've done this fact for Solar Jetman, the three most important people to thank are the people who made the game, yep. God, and CJC. I mean, so, so I can feel so much better than my friends who smoked a little bit of weed in high school. Yeah, exactly. Fuck and instead you of playing and Solar your Jetman. judgmental ass. Yeah. God damn it. I don't know why that makes uh, me so uh, angry. Another day creating facts. Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> So, oh, yes. and the talent for writing. Oh, oh yes, yeah. so you can you can yes. this this vast talent. You don't, from... you don't call yourself talented. You just no. uh, oh man, that's a that is a bad look. What is it? Let's see what what else E Poet Kerr has done. <laughs> um, oh, Bible Adventures. Okay, cool. Sure. <laughs> yeah, big up, um, big ups to the big guy. You know. Yeah, big ups like <laughs> kiss and put your two <laughs> fingers up in the god. Yep. Um, yeah, and then a couple of double dragons, Clash Demon, pretty good. Yeah. Um, yeah, and then Flying Warriors. What's Flying Warriors? How come mm. that hasn't been suggested yet? I don't know. Uh, I can tell that you that what's looks... not on the list. Okay, by Culture Brain, I bet you. That, I bet you it will end up on the list. <laughs> um, yeah, this guy's a sack of shit. Yeah, man. So. <laughs> I feel the same way about this guy's like overly <laughs> pros as I do about uh, um, people who put up videos showing like to like differ uh, for walkthroughs and stuff as opposed yeah. to just writing stuff out. Like, yeah, people aren't here to like this isn't fucking like, you know, amateur night at open mic at the Apollo. Like we're yeah. not here to see you be like, here you be clever. That isn't to say like take all the voice out of what you're writing, but like you don't open up with ah uh, like. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. Another day. Yes. <laughs> Perhaps I sat down and like, <laughs> I just I just picture like every time I hear that, see that now, anything like that, I just hear that fucking Davis Arini guy. Yeah, totally. Yeah, yeah. I was gonna bring up uh, Davis Arini <laughs> about that. The thing about like the thing about the people who do the walkthroughs and talk through them is that there are already let's plays. Like uh-huh. that's a thing. If somebody wants to commentator, then that's what they go to. Mm-hmm. But if I'm just trying to figure out how to do something, yeah. I don't, I don't need, I just need it written out. Yeah. Not even, or like, just even shown with like, shown with annotations. I don't even want to hear a, a voice. Like, 
Yeah. I can help it. I mean, it extends outside of gaming too. Like if you try and figure out how to do anything with like video editing, audio editing, or just in general, like anything to do with software, there's like some 14 year old kid who uses it as his fucking soapbox to like be a comedian about yeah. it. Like, no, yeah. I really just want to figure out how to get something from this format to this format. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it's, it's really obnoxious. Yeah. The uh, people on the internet, sometimes assholes. <sighs> Man. Can I, can I, can I veer off of, off, off, off sub, uh, topic real quick? Yeah, sure. Like I, yeah, no. I, I came into this pretty angry actually. So mm-hmm. I was driving back to my house from a, uh, from a, uh, grocery store down the street. Came into this game or came into this recording session? To this recording session. Like I left work, okay. filled up on gas and I stopped by a grocery store to pick up some odds and ends. Um, and I was, I was driving back. Okay. And mm-hmm. I, okay. So I live in a, in a relatively affluent neighborhood in Cincinnati where like I'm below, you know, just like a little bit below both the, you know, just like the age and income, whatever, you know, like whatever. Like, so, but it's, but it's pretty nice there, you know, there are bars and stuff to walk through. It's like a walkable neighborhood. Pretty cool. In general, we don't see an awful lot of like keep Cincinnati weirdos here, mm-hmm. even though that is totally a thing. Like the entire city has some like Portland envy in that way. Right. Mm-hmm. But I was driving by and I just about drove over a median, like hopped a curb to like take this guy down because he was wearing, he was dressed up a little bit like a science teacher. He had a cabbie's hat on and he was, he, he was holding, um, uh, as he was dr- riding his fixie bicycle, a sign that was handwritten that said, am I famous yet? Hmm. Yeah. That's pretty gross. Yeah. That's pretty bad. And I was like, yeah. God damn it. <laughs> Holding it for just to, for people who to see as they drove by. Yes. Yeah. Like he yeah. was, he was, he was, he, uh, the, the, the reason I saw him was because he was stopping to get out and go into a bar that's like down mm. the street, you know, that that's like down the street. And it's like, Hey, here's my, here's my, am I famous yet sign? That's pretty annoying. Yeah. So I just about, I just about went to jail today. Well, I'm glad you didn't run him over. <laughs> Me too. That seems, that seems extreme. I know it does. Uh, <laughs> I, yeah. But I just, I just had it like the, like, what, 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 what went through my mind? I was like uh, Marcellus Wallace, like motherfucker. Just yeah. If I just oh, man, yeah, that, that is that is annoying. I also just had a bad uh, day yeah. at work, so that that's leading to me yeah. being hyperbolic here. So yeah, the yeah, the, the, the it is an annoying sign. Gary, am and I famous not, yet? Like, he, he's not getting it right either. That would no. that's not a Portland way to do a sign. I know, right? It's not a Portland what's, sign. Well, okay, what's a Portland version of that same sign? Um, like I don't know, weed. <laughs> Like that says yeah. weed. <laughs> just, just, just like yeah i i, I don't know yeah, i don't see like when people hold signs it's usually they're like gutter punks or or legit homeless people yeah i don't see a lot of like attention signs there's like the portland attention people are like the asshole who dresses up as darth vader and unicycles okay around like that's a, but they're like they're they're infamous and there's just a few of them okay you know yeah. and then there's a couple of them they're like like I, there's like a weird old guy who does magic who like I actually like because he's just like a legit crazy homeless person. He's not doing it for attention. Right. The the Darth Vader uh, unicycle guy like I want to hit him with a car. Like mm. if I drove, it would be, you know, it'd be very tempting to run that guy over because that's awful. Yeah. He's just there for like when tourists are in town, they can take a picture and be like, "That's so Portland." But yeah. like you've been here, it's just a normal place. The restaurants and bars and shit. Yeah. Like it's just it's just a town. <laughs> yep. There's nothing like it is. It is a you know, yeah. that, that's it's that stuff drives yeah. me a little bit. That's too. Yeah. It just like it struck me as like cargo culting a little bit like <laughs> I'm yeah. going to be quirky. Let's leave, yeah. let's bring a little bit of whimsy and chaos to this to this two bit berg. I think if you killed that person, it should be a manslaughter. <laughs> yeah. Like rather than murder. <laughs> is it like it would it fall under um, um, a make my day loss? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. It'd be it'd be castle doctrine just for the whole city. Like, <laughs> yeah, cast- it's like the purge. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Like just like, oh, that's that's not okay. Yeah, yeah. Anybody who's expressing the faintest bit of irony, yeah, yeah. Like, well, just it's just bad irony. Yeah. Like I, I appreciate a funny sign. Yeah, me too. No, that's not a good sign. Not a good sign. A bad sign. Yeah. <sighs> Man. I yeah. Oh, well. Yeah. So yeah. Um. Did you notice that in Solar Jetman? The uh, the diamonds you collect are like straight up NES rare style diamonds. Yes, like they're the same diamonds from Wizards and Warriors. Uh huh. And I'm pretty sure have shown up in Battletoads mm-hmm. at some point. Like they're just like that's the rare diamond sprite. <laughs> yep. Well, you know that's just a, that's economies of scale. They 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 figured yeah. out how to manufacture a bunch of those diamonds, and they just uh, you know are are, are enjoying the uh, the juiced margins, right? Yeah, they have extra extra pixels to, mm-hmm. to use up, extra sprites. Yeah. It's huge too. It's like the size of your ship. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, Which you- is also the size of your man. Like, it's <laughs> weird. It's not so much a probe as it is an egg suit that he wears. Yeah, yeah exactly. It's just a Sheldon costume. <laughs> yeah. Uh. <laughs> yeah. And if he's in if he's in regular uh, gravity, he's like a weeble wobble. Mm-hmm. Just everybody goes, guys, stop pushing me. He's a real goof goofball. You're a little guy. Yeah. Well, he's a space like loony. A space goof. Yeah. He is yeah. a space loony. The music in this game is pretty good. Yeah. I agree. I thought. Yeah. Uh, so I think that like all the of all the rare games that we've played, like between this and Captain Skyhawk, it's shown that at least in the NES era, and I think you can say the same thing about Battletoads, they were really like pushing the envelope a little bit and yeah. like doing some pretty adventurous stuff. So I have to commend them for that for as much as I don't like rare in general. Yeah, they they definitely got to be something I like less than like the NES stuff. Like even, you know, like Battletoads is not a bad game. No. Like that's a pretty good game. It's just, you know, too hard mm-hmm. the um yeah they, they were kind of an okay company at the time and it just really just like with donkey Kong countries when i stopped liking them and then i you know was never that into their nintendo 64 offerings and mm-hmm. and now they're just remaking that stuff now right yeah. like it's yeah. all just like donkey kong country returns and yeah well that's uh the, the, that's on nintendo's hand now like rare doesn't oh, have anything yeah. to do with uh with those in fact rare What's rare doing rare is doing like uh xbox 360 stuff so they did oh, okay. uh, they did like connect sports Oh, sure. um, they Viva did, Pinata. Uh, yeah, Viva Pinata, which is pretty good actually. Yeah. Um, and uh, they also were working on like Project Milo. Rare also did the uh, the the avatars for the new for the new Xbox experience. Nixie. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, but uh, like their last really big like let's make a rare game was Cameo, I think. Oh, okay. uh, which was uh, Elements of Power. Yes, uh, that yeah. was a uh, that that launch 360 title. So they've okay. kind of they've kind of veered off of making. Not like core games, but games in general. Yeah. Yeah. Well, well good. <laughs> <laughs> I think all right. Oh, you know what? I, yeah. that, that's that's wrong. They uh, they made uh, Banjo Kazooie the uh, the car racing like vehicle oh. uh, making game, which yeah. uh, which which actually was pretty fun. I mean, it's hard to make a car racing game not be kind of fun. Yeah. It's hard to like th- those things are hard for me because I just don't give a shit about those characters. Like I actively yeah. dislike. Yep. Both Banjo and, and Kazooie. Kazooie. Yeah. <laughs> not one of gaming's greatest birds. No, no, I just like that bird. Yeah. Um, phone is ringing. The, uh, <laughs> I had to reset uh, all my settings on my phone because my Wi-Fi was fucking up. Mm-hmm. And I haven't gone back in and made all the little adjustments like making my phone when it's on silent, not vibrate. Oh, yeah. So I'll just bury this under the sweater here. Yeah, I'm, I'll leave it in. I have mine sitting on top of a, on top of an oven mitt right now. So it doesn't. Oh, yeah. So it doesn't <laughs> rattle the table. Yeah. Life yeah. hacks. Well, usually, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Put a life hack on your desk. Yeah. Put a, put a, put a oven mitt on your yeah, desk. I have a, a life, life mitt. Wear my life hack hat. Yeah. 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 Uh, yeah. <sighs> Anywho, yeah. Um, Solar Jet Man. I don't know. It yeah. was fine. Yeah. Like, dip into it. It's got the, uh, it's got the Lunar Lander thing. Um, yeah. I remember going to, uh, going to the Columbia, South Carolina Science Museum, like Kids Interactive Science Museum. Um, mm-hmm. and uh, getting completely distracted and spending most of the day playing um, Lunar Lander because mm-hmm. they just had that in the uh, in the in the room about space travel. And it's like, okay, I'm going to be posted up here because this is a free video game I can play. Yeah, yep, and 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 not learn. Yep. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I was there with like grandparents. It wasn't like a it was it wasn't like yeah. a school trip or whatever. But yeah. I was like, I've extracted all the value of this. Let me let me play Lunar Lander, please. Yeah, yeah, That's, it's fun. Like Lunar Lander is fine. It's yeah. fun. Yeah, so that's uh, I don't know that I have anything else to say about Solar Jetman. Yeah, I, I'm I'm definitely out of things to say about <laughs> Solar Jetman. I got nothing. Yeah, um, it's fine. It's fun. Yeah. Thank you uh, for suggesting it, Brad Carey. Uh, Brad Carey. Yeah. Always appreciate yeah. you. Yeah, and your and your input. Yeah. Yeah. Um. So next time we're going to be playing uh, kind of a, a a really weird one, the uh, Circus yeah. Charlie. Yeah. That is, it's just like, it's something that was big in Japan and not Ever in the United States. brought here. <laughs> it, it didn't yeah. get a chance to be big here. Yeah. Yeah, but it has, there's a lot of weird affection for Circus Charlie for some, from some people. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. It's kind of strange. Yeah. Um, but uh, he showed up in like a DS Classics oh, compilation. Really? Yeah. Huh. Okay. Yeah, but yeah, Circus Charlie. Yeah. Um, in the meantime, um, the biggest thing probably you can do is tune in on uh, November 21st. Mm-hmm. At, uh, if you go to duckfeed.tv forward slash duckstream, you can see the information uh, for our duckstream charity event for Transactive. 24 hours of streaming stuff from the network yeah. to collect money for kids, trans yeah. kids. 
Yes. Uh, for education and resources for their uh, for, for the kids and their families. Yeah. And it's a great cause. Yeah. We're really excited about that. Um, yeah. And uh, let's see here. Do we want to give more details on that or are we uh, moving on? Uh, we could probably move on. Yeah. People, you should, you should go to the site. Yeah. Go to the site. You'll see a, like a, like a schedule of events, um, kind of goals and stuff like that, where uh, all mm-hmm. of that is still, is still a little bit up in the air, but uh, it will be solidified by the day of. And it's, hey, it's a whole 24 hours. Watch for a little bit. Watch for, um, you know, a long time. Give a little bit. Give a lot. Whatever yeah, you. And, and at some point, that stuff will show up on YouTube. Yes. Well, you know, at some point, it will be archived in some way. Mm-hmm. So when you ha- whenever you have 24 hours to spare. <laughs> yep. Um, the, uh, yeah. So, <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. But, uh, for this show, all the usual stuff, check out the Patreon and also leave us a rating or review on iTunes. Um, thank you everybody for, uh, suggesting stuff. If you want to, uh, get a game into the completely random, uh, selection, just go to, um, duckfeed.tv slash abject suffering and use that widget there. And, uh, we'll probably talk about the game on the show and tell you to go fuck yourself. Yeah. Unlike Brad Carey, who yeah. doesn't need to go fuck himself. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's it. Okay. See you next week. Umbasa. Umbasa. <laughs>